Hi guys, it's Sam, and I'm going to try and film a few things in this video, all cruise related. And if I have time after I get through the important stuff, I want to show you my cruise souvenirs because because there's a lot of fun things in there and I thought that I would break this up into so the first part of the video is going to be things that I wish I had on my cruise and I'm filming this by the way because I took a shower I put on some makeup I haven't worn makeup since I came back from the cruise which was last today is August 15th and I came back last Wednesday so no makeup just been a total bomb uh, but I put on just my it cosmetics powder foundation which i absolutely love i feel like it gives me such great coverage some blush some mascara and eyeliner oh sorry eyebrow stuff so the first part of the cruise like i mentioned is going to be things that i wish i had with me on the cruise a couple of items or one item that i feel like a lot of people put on their list that i felt like wasn't really necessary for me and i'm not going to talk about things like passport and sunscreen those are things that are must-haves for everyone i feel like and um i'm not going to mention those uh and then the next part of the video will be things that i just I brought with me that I really really like and think that you guys would too so let's get started the first thing I'm gonna talk about is I wish I had more loungewear I brought pajamas with me like jogger pajamas that I wear and I I wore that out to like sea day brunch and tea time and I kind of wish I just had loungewear that I could just wear off um, off when I'm walking around the ship and to places like Sunday uh, Sunday brunch, sea day brunch, and sea day tea time. Just walking around the ship, my sister and her boyfriend they had lightweight joggers and it looked so comfortable. And I kind of wish I had those too. Uh, next is a bigger everyday bag, and I brought with me an evening clutch and another like crossbody small bag that was this size and that was great for walking around the ship but I kind of wish I had a medium sized bag kind of like this or tote bag to put just things in there uh, like I was stuffing things into my little everyday purse and like when we went to the deck or when we uh, got off the ship, I kind of wish I, I would have had a little bit of a bigger bag. And it, related to that is I kind of wish we had a waterproof lightweight backpack. And I was thinking about getting this on Amazon, but I just decided against it. And we brought with us off ship our weekender bag. And it was just kind of bulky. And I I definitely think a uh, back, lightweight backpack, waterproof even better uh, for the next cruise or even uh, like a beach vacation or water vacation. Uh, next is a sleep mask. We got for the first time a balcony cabin and I don't think I could go back. I absolutely fell in love with the balcony cabin but a lot of light gets through and for those midday siestas and getting sleeping in late in the mornings, I thought uh, I wished on more than one occasion that I had a sleep mask with me so I definitely would bring that next time uh, then something to do uh, before the cruise is download Netflix and YouTube videos Netflix you should do sooner because I didn't realize this but I had downloaded a couple of weeks before Netflix stuff but a lot of them had expired before I could watch them so I would do that right before we leave and then YouTube you could do anytime but I, I thought that I would be able to download YouTube videos in Puerto Rico but for some reason you're not allowed to uh, so that's something to consider I know that's not an item but that's something I will remember next time uh, no I have here next is I would not bring soda or alcohol and I don't know why I thought I should bring a 12 pack and two bottles of alcohol because I don't even drink that much stuff at home in terms of soda or alcohol so if I were to do that again I might bring a six pack if that I drank the soda like a five cans of soda throughout the entire trip and we drank one champagne bottle but the other rosé that i brought we had to bring back home and we have to bring back the other soda home so i don't think it's worth it to take up the space and to uh take up carry-on space 
for that stuff for us. I quite enjoyed ordering one or two cocktails, fruity cocktails every day. And if I didn't have the soda, I wouldn't mind ordering soda like five or six times throughout the trip when I felt like soda. But normally I would just drink the water, which was fine. And then, so that's some things that I had on my mind that I wrote down on my phone when, when I would think about it uh, that stood out to me. And then uh, one item that a lot of people put on their cruise must-have list is extra uh, outlet and so my sister and I we both brought this one but I felt like for us we went on the Carnival Sunrise which was refur refurbished and they added two plugs near the makeup vanity area and then two plugs two sorry two USBs by the bed and two USBs by the desk fantastic if i were to get anything for the next cruise i would just get a usb hub uh they are two plugs uh as well that i if you brought a laptop or something else that had a plug you're all taken care of i will next time bring a usb hub instead of this outlet because what happened was so this is in the middle right so once you put it into one of the plugs two plugs it would take you really couldn't fit another plug on the second one and then if you plug it into here some of them i don't know what you exactly call this adapter yeah these adapters some of them are too big and so i'll show you right now you can't even if you do it on this side you can't fit anything into here so you really only have down to two plugs which which is what you already have i know there's bigger ones but i don't know for amazon um, this was good in terms of price, but, um, the way that this is set up is not very good. So I don't, I wouldn't probably recommend that. And like I said, going forward, I would probably just get USB. Uh -huh. Okay. So now we're going to get on to things that I really love on the cruise that I brought with me. And the first thing is packing cubes. And I brought this, I bought this one. I can't remember exactly the brand but i absolutely love this pink color it's amazing uh there's certain ones that i did not use but i did use so i'll just go through it quickly digital pouch i put wires headphones in there exactly what they put on the picture there that worked out really nicely because it has sorry i should show you the inside it has like this protective padding it's not super thick padding but it's really nice and i like using that did I use this? I don't think I used this laundry bag. Uh, and I didn't bring that book with me. Uh, I did use this laundry bag for putting my important documents and passport and stuff like that to put into the safe. I just don't like throwing a bunch of things into like anywhere and then having to like collect it all. So I just put everything of mine into this uh, packing cube. I did use this for shoes that came in handy I put like my bigger like I had jeans and I think I put did I put my dresses in there just the bigger things and then I use these two this one was for kind of like underwear and things like that and then this one was for shirts and um, I found these really really nice and uh, it was I didn't use them on the way back, but when I was unpacking, it was super nice to know, oh, this is where my things are, or like my shirts and shorts are, and this is where my bathing suits are and underwear are. Just really nice. So I would definitely recommend getting packing cubes. I understand the appeal. Uh, then we have something that's kind of... I didn't think I would get seasick. I normally don't get seasick, and I don't suffer from motion sickness, but I had to use these about three or four times our ship was really rocking and i feel like that's something that you can't predict is how rocky your boat is your ship is going to be so i just i never really felt super sick but i did feel a tiny little nausea uh a few times so i took this and it made me feel better and this is the bonine did this make me sleepy no it did not i know dramamine makes me sleepy because i've taken that before but yeah this was really nice and the 12th count was perfect for us i was the only one that used it 
between our cabin. Uh, then another kind of thing that um, probably a lot of people do already, but is a small wallet. I did not bring my huge wallet with me. I didn't. I knew I wasn't gonna need. 99% of the stuff in there, but this fit cash, my two credit cards that I brought, and my license. And it was so nice to bring this with me um, and not have to have that bulky uh, wallet that I usually carry. So a little wallet thing. Uh, next is this waterproof phone case. And this is the brand Cambon. And this came with four. I gave it to my sister, her boyfriend. Steve, again, did not want to. Okay, so I had to take a phone call. That's why my face looked weird a few seconds ago. Steve, again, did not want to take his. So it's in the package here. This thing was amazing. I found it very invaluable when we got off at Grand Turk to go to the beach and when we went to the Dominican Republic, I brought this with me. It was just a nice, where did I put the actual, where did I put mine? Oh, it fell on the floor. I'll show you this one. But this is much smaller than the one I had gotten for my last cruise, which was in 2016. This is much smaller, and I feel like um, it just works a little bit better. Uh, and it's really secure. I tested it. You, you do that by putting a tissue in here and submerging it underwater for 15 minutes. And I found this invaluable when we got off the ship at Grand Turk uh, in the beach when we went to the beach and then again in where did we go <laughs> the waterfalls in Dominican Republic it just kept everything dry and I put my phone in here and my uh, cash credit card and license and ship card in here and it all fit and I could probably I put a lip balm in here as well so it fit a lot of stuff in here and I would definitely bring this with me again. The next thing is a hair straightener. I like to have, my hair is straight, but it gets a little bit frizzy. So I like to use this um, to make my look a little, my hair look a little bit sleeker. And also you could use this as kind of to make your hair wavy. So I would definitely recommend bringing some type of hair, uh, hair, product no not hair product a hair device uh the straightener is my choice because you could do a few more things than if you had like a curling iron and then next which this thing is amazing this is another amazon find it's the O polar mini rechargeable handheld fan model that five f21 series sorry that phone call was because we are getting an air conditioner and air conditioner unit it's all downstairs in the basement and the guy's working there and i just it feels weird to be here filming this so <laughs> i'm gonna try to finish this as quick as possible uh this i use in the cabin on the ship at the uh when we went off ports in every single port i brought this and it looks like this and that's what you were hearing at the first part of this uh if you heard the buzzing this is the fan it folds like this to make it really compact or you can walk around which I, we did a lot with with this fan and it has three settings this is one and the one is very nice two you hear that drilling that's him putting in the unit and then this is three so uh I love this. I would definitely bring this with me on any trip, actually. And oh, that's distracting, isn't it? I'm so sorry. I didn't know, like, he was supposed to come in the afternoon, but I didn't know exactly when. But he decided to come now. And so now I can't think. Oh my goodness. This, I love this. And I would highly recommend it. I was going to say something else about it, but I forgot what it was. Next is something else slightly a little bit more expensive and it is the GoPro again for the water excursions this came in so handy we took it with on the waterfalls especially like going down and we did this on the ship uh, we use it on the ship a lot for time lapses for storms sunsets 
going down the slide and if you are into documenting and vlogging i feel like this is such a great thing to have and there are cheaper ones not exactly gopro brand but there are cheaper uh, alternatives out there that i recently just saw on amazon and then the last thing that i want to share with you is my tumblr this is the brand hydroflax i would actually recommend this brand and I got this for everybody on the trip. So my sister got the teal one, or light blue teal, it was a really pretty color. Uh, her boyfriend, got, I got him the red one, and Steve, I got the black one, and his was, Steve's was actually different, 32 ounce, because he drinks a lot of water. But he decided not to <laughs> bring it, that noise, oh my goodness, this video is hilarious. Uh, he decided not to bring it like the, he didn't want to take the waterproof thing, but I thought this was so nice to have on the trip. The last trip, my last cruise trip, I did not bring this, I brought this with me, but I didn't use it. Uh, I used it a lot this time for during the day for water, and especially at night, I would go up to get, fill this all with ice and then put water in there and it stayed cool until the next day so this bottle itself keeps things cool and keeps things hot but you don't burn yourself if the drink is hot my sister she was kind of sick during this trip so she had a lot of tea and you could hold this without a problem this one in particular i don't know where so it doesn't come oh there it goes it does not come with the straw lid. I had to buy that separately, and I enjoy having the straw, so that's why I bought it. Nobody else wanted it. It comes with a lid like this, which is perfectly fine, but I like this, and something like this I would bring. If you are one to bring it around with you on ship, I would probably have one that has a lid that you could turn shut you could close off that it won't spill or anything so and i you know i left this my sister did the same thing we left this a couple of times in like random places and when we went back it was always there nobody i and i kind of knew that um that that was going to happen so you just people just leave their stuff all the time and nobody takes it unless it's like something that's part of the cruise um so i felt very safe in bringing this around with me and yeah so those this video is kind of like so the beginning was things that i wish i had brought with me and in the middle i talked about the outlet that's one thing that i would probably change and then the this part was talking about my cruise favorites and it doesn't include everything like there's certain things i feel like you don't have to mention like sunscreen that is super super important to bring with you and your passport stuff like that is just that's always should be on your list but these are just some of my favorites that stood out to me and i hope you guys enjoyed it i probably we we enjoyed this cruise a lot but we want to try different ships i believe and also maybe not cruise for we like doing cruising like every two three maybe even four years so our next one probably won't be for a couple of years we love cruising but we want to do other things as well so i hope you guys enjoy this video i will try to work on my cruise vlogs i did film a lot and i don't want that stuff to go to waste and just sit there but it's just i don't have the best editing software and it's i want to make something kind of good so we'll see what happens there but i hope you guys enjoy this video and are doing well and i'll talk to you soon bye for me and the drill noise <laughs>